Okay, it says I am live. Let's see if anybody joins. We're telling your followers that you've started a live video. Sounds good. Hello? Ah, Vera Faithfully, I remember that name. Nerd, nerd Milk? Nerd Milk? <laughs> okay, so today I'm experimenting. Hmm, so it's a little bit different this time. And I thought that we could maybe do some role play. So role play, hello. <laughs> hello everyone. So I was thinking we could do some role play. And when we talk about role play is uh, we'll, we'll do role play for job interviews. Okay. So we can figure out what type of prof profession you're applying for. And I will role play and I will pretend that I'm interviewing you. Right. So if uh, you're applying to be a doctor or something like that, then I will pretend I'm the HR person, the human resources person, and I will put on my glasses and I will interview interview you. OK, so this is an, a way that we could do role play and it can improve your interview skills. Right. When you're applying for a job. Right. So. Once again, for everyone who might have joined, we're going to try role play today. So I'm going to need someone to come live. If you want to practice your interview skills, and we'll talk first, and then I will tell you that the interview is going to begin, and then I will put on my glasses, and I will pretend that I'm, you know, the interviewer. Okay, so we have a request. Let's see. With call me SD07. All right. SD07. All right. Let's see if someone joins. So today we're going to do a role play and I'm going to like interview you. Hello? Hello. Uh, okay. Hopefully we have a good connection. If it's not, then I'm going to have to move forward. Let's see. How are you? I'm good. Okay. You? I'm great. However, uh, the connection doesn't seem to be so good because you're frozen. <laughs> yeah, it's black, dark. Yeah. Okay, well, since it's not working, i got to move on to find one that it has a good connection, okay? Okay, fine. Thank you for trying. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. So, once again, if anyone wants to come live right now, we're going to do a role play. Mm, this is a great opportunity, okay? So, ah, we have Sophia Kalam. Let's, whoops. Uh, let's see, view. Go live with Sophia Kalam. All right, let's give it a try. Hopefully we can get some good connections today. Last time was so frustrating. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Oh. Hello. How are you? I'm great. What about you? I'm fabulous. And today I am experimenting, okay? So we're going to try yeah. we're going to try something new. Ha have you come live with me before? Of course, yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, this is my third time. Okay. So we're going to do a role play, okay? Yeah, yeah. And what does the word role play mean? Role play means I'm going to like uh, a play a role. Sure, right. So we're kind of we're going to pretend, right? We use some of our imagination. Yeah, going to act. Yeah. Right. Yeah, going to act. Yeah. Okay, and what I would like to do is I would like to do a role play as an interview, like a job interview. Is that possible? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so first, can I ask you a few questions so we can kind of get an idea? Yeah. Um, uh, what kind of work do you do? What kind of work I do? Ah, I'm a student as well. Oh. I do teaching also, yeah. And what what do you study? What do I study? I have done graduation from like political science. It's, yeah. My God, my friends will. <laughs> they are here. Okay. And, and what? You guys, go, go from here. <laughs> and uh, do you plan to work after you graduate? Yeah, I'm actually I'm doing that. Okay. And can you give me an idea what kind of profession would you be working in? Yeah, I'm a teacher. Yeah. A, my a teacher. And any specific subject or general studies? Yeah, general studies you can say. 
general studies. Okay, and what level would you be teaching at? Like kids or adults? Yeah. No, 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 it's kids. Kids. Okay. Yeah. So, would you like to do a role play with me? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, I will be uh let's say you're we're going to pretend that you're applying for a job with uh maybe an international school. How about that? Yeah, and, let's try. Okay. Let's try. Okay. And so you're going to teach there and I'm going to interview you and ask you about your qualifications, your history, why should we hire you and stuff like that, okay? Yeah, I can do fake here. I can be fake here, right? <laughs> okay. So, so I have my glasses. <laughs> And the, when I, when I put my glasses on that means the role play begins, okay? Yeah. Okay? So don't worry, yeah. don't worry if it's not perfect. The whole idea is to practice and improve, right? Yeah, sure. Okay? And first, what can I call you? I would what what name can I call you? Yeah, call it my 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 real name. And what is your name? Yeah, it's Sophia Kala. Oh, Sophia Kalam. Okay. So I would say once I start, I'll say hello Miss Sophia Kalam and thank you all all that. And my name will be I will be Mr. Jones, okay? <laughs> Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. Right. Yeah. Mr. Jones. Yeah, just call me I'll, for this role play I will be Mr. Jones. Okay? Jones. Okay. Mr. Jones. Okay, are you ready to begin? Yeah. So right. Remember you're you're trying to you're applying for a job and you would like to work for my school, okay? Okay, let's uh, do one thing. Uh um uh, let's like uh, what to say about that? Uh, um for that uh oh uh, cabinet both the cabin crew like let's interview of cabin crew. live with this teacher and all teaching and all oh you mean like to like on an airplane the flight crew yeah yeah oh. that department let's, okay let's so let's try something new so i will be the the human resources department for yeah. an airline yeah. and you're applying yeah. you're applying to be a flight attendant is that right yeah yeah huh? okay sure we can do that so uh are you ready to start yeah Okay so I'll still be Mr. Jones and I'm going to interview you for a position to become a flight attendant okay Oh uh, yeah All right once I put my glass once I put my glasses on we're going to be in role play mode here we go Okay Yeah Hello. By the way it's a good morning or good afternoon <laughs> ah. Yeah it's good evening Aha uh -huh. well yeah. he hello Miss Sophia Kalam how are you Hello Mr. John. Good evening. A very good meeting. I'm good. Thank oh. you. What about you? I am fabulous. Thank you for asking. I'm very happy that you applied to work with our company and it looks like you are uh seeking the position of flight attendant. Is that correct? Yes, 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 Mr. John. Yeah. Okay. And uh I'm looking at your resume here and can you tell me about your past experience or why you're qualified to be a flight attendant? like it's my dream or like it's my dream okay and i'm pressure i don't have any experience in this field and yeah i want to be like a flight attendant you know okay that's why yeah okay go yeah. ahead <laughs> okay and okay what what kind of educational background do you have i like i have just past my 12 you know i have just done uh, it's a hill it's 12 past we uh, you can apply for that job okay so i'm just telling that i'm just a 12 past and yeah i'll oh. say 18 years old yeah <laughs> okay and since you're you're fly, you're applying to be a flight attendant it's important for me to ask are you comfortable flying on airplanes and I'm not I'm not applying for pilot pilot right. job it's a you cabin crew right right but still cabin crew they need to be comfortable if they're flying on air yeah 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 if yeah of course if you will train me I will I will do it yeah definitely I will do it okay and have you flown on an airplane before no it's i as i say
I mean, I will train. You will, if you people will train, of course, I will learn it. Okay, and let me give you a situation. What would you do if one of the people that are riding in the airplane, if they get angry and they say that they don't like the food, how would you talk to them? Yeah, I will. I will. Uh, in that situation, I will try to talk to that person, uh, like, and I will like. Uh, I'm. I I will try to convince him that yeah please come down and whatever he wants I will try to do uh, like I will try to give that uh, food or what he wants that if I and otherwise if I cannot handle that I will ask to my friends how to like handle this guy like yeah okay and are you willing to work on on weekdays evenings mornings nights 24 hours a day <laughs> uh yeah not every day but yeah if uh, like it's not for every day job right but yeah if it's uh, like if it situation is like that then yeah of course i will do it okay and our i love traveling yeah <laughs> great and can i ask you what kind of benefits are you looking for i'm looking for a good salary first mm -hmm. of all <laughs> and uh, yeah and i as i said now my goal is for traveling traveling is my goal so i, I because i love traveling so i want to get this job yeah. okay okay and would you if we if we are looking to follow up with you would you be able to provide references that can uh talk about your character that we could talk to to find out more about you i uh, like like maybe, like maybe past references of your old bosses or maybe professors that could give us some information about you would you be willing to provide that information yeah yeah sure yeah, i will give you provide you everything okay all right all right so i'm going to take my glasses off and that the end the role play so what yeah. do you, what do you think how do you think you did do you think you got the job uh that will that is a secret and i'm excited to know that yeah you have selected <laughs> just tell me that <laughs> <laughs> well we're just kind of practicing a little bit you know if if i was really working for the airline i would probably need to uh spend more time with you and see what if you deal with people well how do you deal with stress are you willing to work yeah. in emergency situations stuff like that because there are a lot of responsibilities for a, the cabin crew right yeah of course yeah it, it is uh huh uh huh and what do what do you think what what do i think i think you I, have great i have i think you have great energy <laughs> oh <laughs> right yeah, thank you <laughs> Sure. Okay. So this was just kind of a little bit of a uh, practice today, and I want to say thank you. I'm going to move on so someone else has an opportunity, okay? Yeah, nice to talk to you. Thank you. Yes, likewise. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right. Bye. Bye. Okay. So today is I'm experimenting, right? We're doing some role play, and if anybody wants to come live, I will will do a role play where I'm interviewing you for a position, right? So I'll ask you questions that someone might ask you if they were interviewing you if you were applying for a job. Let's see Somia Mode says me please. And I assume that means that you want to go live, so I'm going to send you a request and we'll see what happens. Oh, it says Somia Hole is unable to join. Let me try again. Go live with So me a mo HD it says unable to join I don't know all right let's see all right any other requests to come live oh Eden is Dogan do you want to do you want me to request you to come live so you were trying so hard last time let's see whoop all right the king is here all right i'm going to send you a request and if you want to come live you're welcome okay eden edenis dogan all right and you choose if you want to cuz you really oh, it says unable to join hmm 
All right. So if anybody wants to come live, we will do. Oh, let's see. Farik Gufarov says, uh, "Let's choose me, bro." So I'm going to give you a request to go live. We'll see what happens. It says go live with Farik Gufarov. All right, waiting for Farid Gafuro. Let me take a drink of water. <clears throat> and so the idea of today is we're going to do a role play, and I'm going to interview you for a job, right? <clears throat> so once I put on my glasses, I'm suddenly uh, one of the HR people, right? And I will interview you. So it still says waiting for Farid Gafuro. So it's not coming yet. Let's see. All right, still waiting. All right, it says Farid declined. Okay, that's no problem. Uh, Amit Bidir says me. Okay, I'm going to send you a request. It says go live with Amit Bidir. Bidir. Farid says why can I not? I don't know. It didn't go through. I'm not sure. So let's see. We're waiting for Amit Bidir. Bidir. Hello. Hello. How are you? Sir, how are you? Great. I'm very well. Thank you very much. And you, sir? I'm fabulous. Can you hear me and see me okay? Yes. Okay. I can see you and I can hear you. Okay. So today we're going to do a role play, okay? Okay. And do you, what is a role play? What is a role play? I'm not sure, but uh, I think so. Uh, we can play uh, for a job, right? <clears throat> right. For example, for example, my job, I'm a gener generator mechanic. Okay. Okay. And uh, I'm not sure how can we play. No, we can do it. I don't. I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can. I don't have any experience. <clears throat> experience. Well, it's good to practice, right? Because in the future, yes. if you maybe want to apply for a new position, you might need to do it in English, right? So, uh, you said you're, what kind of mechanic again? I'm sorry? I'm a generator mechanic. Generator mechanic, okay. Yes. So, let's say, uh, do you only work at one place or do you work at multiple locations? Um, I'm work... Uh, multiple, uh, multiple locations, but a uh, different position. Okay. Uh, I have been I have been working almost four years uh, with American soldiers. Uh, you know NATO. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I have been working almost four years. Okay. All right. So, uh, oh, the connection is kind of not working. Let's see. Well, if it's not working, then hmm. Ah, ah, no, the connection. Ah, okay. Let's see who's up next. All right. Let's see. Let's try. <laughs> Jodo Bule, as in Bule, like white people in Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try Jodo Bule. Jodo <laughs> Hello? 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 Okay. Okay. My, my voice is my echoing. My voice is echoing. And we can't and keep, we can't keep going. Keep it's, going. Echoing. it's echoing. Can you... Can is, you it is it possible to... Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's going to hurt. hurt. All right. Uh, let's see. Farouk go, go, Gafurov. Oh wait, Amit Bidir. Yeah, I don't. The connection went bad, so I'm not sure what happened. Right, and that last one. If if there's an echo, it hurts my ears, <laughs> and it probably hurts your guys' ears too. All right. So if anybody else wants to come and role play with me, put. Uh, <laughs> ah, yeah. Amit Bidir says my connection is terrible. It happens. Yeah, but we got to talk for a little bit, right? All right. Let's see. We have a request from. SH LLZ. Let's give it a try. All right. We have positive energy. Mm, it's going to be a wonderful connection. I see. Uh, Nerd MLK says, How am I supposed to get live? Well, you can tell me in the comments in the next one. I can probably tap on. Hello? Oh, all right.
right. See, I'll send you Nerd Nerd Milk <laughs> a request because that one didn't work, so we'll give it a try. Waiting for Nerd Milk. It says declined. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, so we have another request. Uh huh. We have my Hosam. Hey, she came live last time, I think, and she's up, so we will give it a try. See if we have a good connection. It says waiting for my Hosam 20. All right. Okay. Hello again. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm great. So, Today, I'm trying something new. I am experimenting, okay? Okay, uh, I know, is that uh, uh, apply for a job? Right, right. Yes, okay, so you were watching, wonderful. Um, can you tell me, uh, do you study, do you work, or what do you do? Yes, uh, I'm a student. Okay, and what do you study? Uh, I am uh, study uh, dentistry. Can you say that again? Dentistry. I, oh. I will be dentist. Dentist. Teeth. Yes. Teeth. Yes. Teeth. Okay. All right. Uh huh. <laughs> Wonderful. So we're going to pretend. <laughs> we're going to pretend that you're applying for a job, okay? And I will interview you. Does that sound all right? Okay. So let's go. Right, and it's no, no pressure, right? This is for fun to practice, okay? So here's a okay. few pieces of information. Let's pretend I am a dentist, and I work at, uh, I guess, a dentist's office, and I have maybe five dentists that already work for me, but I need one more because business is good. <laughs> and so I'm bringing you in, and I'm going to interview you, okay? And okay. my name is going to be Mr. Johnson, okay? <laughs> yes, Mr. Johnson. And, Let's do it. And I will call you Mrs. Hosam, is that or Miss Hosam? I Miss is um wait a second. So, uh, Sam is my father. It's it's fine to call me Mrs. Sam? Well, it would be Miss are, are you married or not married? Not married. He's just he he is my father. My is my name, and Sam is my father. Oh, uh, well, I how about I just call you Miss Miss My. Okay. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. Let me get my papers here. All right. All right. Okay. Hello, hello, Miss My. I am Mr. Johnson. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Johnson. Okay, and it looks like you are applying for the position of dentist. Is that correct? Yes, it's correct. Okay, and you probably already know we have an office. We have five dentists already, but we're looking for number six because a lot of people have horrible teeth. <laughs> and we, we need to fix them, so we need uh, an extra dentist. So um, can you tell me about your experience as a dentist? Um, I uh, worked for a hospital for two years ago and uh, I just want to move on my career and take another chance to develop my uh, skill and get another chance to uh, treat another, uh, other uh, patients make okay. their uh, life better. Uh-huh. Okay. And in your job at the hospital, did you work as a dentist or was it a different position? First year I was assistant for a dentist. And the second year I do a little job. Okay. But I want to learn more. And uh, I'm very fast to learning learning thing. Okay, and in our city there are many, many dentist office. Why did you choose our office? Let me say, uh, it's just I want to be a sex doctor in your uh, office. <laughs> okay. Not a specific uh, reason. 
I just apply for it. Okay. And uh, what kind of benefits do you want to have? Of course, uh, salary will be good. And of course, I want to learn uh, more uh, from you because I hear you are a good uh, dentist. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about like insurance or uh, a benefit package, anything like that? Yes, okay. We are human. We need uh, money to go on in our life. Okay. And um, do you have a degree in dentistry? I study for a uh, magister. Okay. All right. And so if I asked, would you be able to provide proof of your work history and your education? Um. Let's do, I will imagine this, this now. You, you, you ask me and uh, I hope I will answer you. Okay. And when can you first start working? When are you available? Because um, I'm a doctor, I'm available 24 hours. Just, just as our show. Okay. To help patients. Okay, and the opening that we have in our office is uh, the hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Are you able to work those hours from Monday through Friday? Yes, okay. It's okay? I want to have more patients. Uh-huh, okay. And uh, what kind of experience do you have working with people? Because the people that come to our office you know, sometimes they have a lot of pain, they have a lot of problems, and they're not always nice. <laughs> so, what do you think? Of course, uh, I did uh, uh, two years ago, last two years, with many people. Uh, every person, every patient have a different personality from other. But uh, I'm a doctor. I should deal with it. i just not a plain uh, Blame a patient for not understand why he is get a pain. Okay. He's just don't know. We okay. don't, when, like me, before I study, before I become dentist, I don't know why I get pain in my tooth. Okay. All right. And in our office, we also have a section uh, for children. Because <clears throat> someti sometimes when children have uh, dental problems, it's very scary for them, right? Because it's a new situation and they don't understand. So how would you talk to children? I will lie to you, lie about a lie to say that I am very perfect of dealing with children, but I'm general alive with children, love deal with them. If I fail to deal with a child, I can ask uh, someone uh, to help me. Or ask uh, her parent if I failed, and I will uh, turn uh, move uh, this patient to another doctor who can deal with the child. Because uh, I don't uh, want him to be afraid all his life from dentist because I'm a bad dentist. Uh huh. Okay. And do you like to give the children candy after they leave the dentist's no. office? <laughs> it's a bad. Uh, it's a bad idea. We, we should learn our children have uh, the candies and chocolate and all these things is a horrible thing, not, not a healthy thing. I, I hope, uh, I'm not actually love the sweet things, that's uh, thanks to God, but uh, other children around me, I see him eat this sweet thing uh, very much, they destroy their teeth, and when they become adults, they will destroy their teeth and get a vein, it's a horrible thing. We, we should learn our child about it. Okay. To be able to not have a much uh, sweet uh, to, uh, to eat. Okay. So I'll... I, I will uh, um, give him a fruit maybe. Okay. Okay. It's a nice color. <laughs> All right. Well, Miss Mai, I want to say thank you for coming in for this interview. Um, I have more candidates that I need to interview, and we will be in contact with you, okay? Yes, I hope I, hope I get this show. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, I do.
Very well done. You had you were confident. You have good answers, right? Uh huh. Uh, one thing I'll mention is that we say uh, we teach the children. We don't say we learn the children. You could say we teach yes. that we teach them to take care of their teeth or something like that. Yes, as uh, I mistake, I learn, and he teach me. Sure. Yes. Right. right. Yes. Yes. Right. So, how do you think? How do you? How did you do? Um. I'm uh, improve my skill. Skill improve. This uh, third time, and uh, I feel more confident, very relieved to to talk about uh, uh, speak English. Uh, remember, the word is come uh, easy more and more, because when I turn this uh, life, oh, why why should say I should say this sentence? Why I don't any? I forget to say that. In the, but I will improve my skill. Yes. Thank you. No. You you help me to improve my skill. Wonderful. And um, I urge students to try to be like children when they learn, because children learn so fast, right? And they're not afraid to make mistakes. So if us, if adults, we can learn like children, wow, we'll learn so fast. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. Yes, thank you, and see you in the future. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh -huh. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Wonderful. So let's see. We had a flight attendant interview. We had a dentist interview. We almost had a generator mechanic, but the connection was so so. Okay. So, all right. So, in case everyone doesn't know, today we're doing a role play. So whoever comes live, I'm going to interview you, right? And we're going to talk about, like, kind of questions for a job and stuff. I see Farid Gafuro says, bro, read our questions too. It's going to be some practice to us too. Sure. Okay. So once we're doing the role play, when I put my glasses on, if you have questions that you think would be good for me to ask the person, I'll try to keep my eye on the comments, okay? All right, so let's see. All right, uh, Nerd Milk says, me, please. All right, we'll try. Last time it, uh, let's go live with Nerd Milk. It says, waiting for ner Nerd MLK, Nerd Milk. <laughs> All right, we'll see if it works. Aha. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Hello. Hey. How are Hi. you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> and my name is Michael. What is your name? My name is Nord. Nord. Okay. All right. So today we're doing a role play, okay? And okay, I know the situation. Yes. So uh, can I ask you first, so, so I can have an idea what kind of interview we're going to do. Uh, do you study? Do you work? Or what do you do? Uh, I'm studying. Uh, I'm writing my thesis right now, so ah. uh, after I finish, I hope I will work. Okay, and what subject do you study? What is the focus? Psychology, clinical psychology. Ooh, ah, you get in people's minds, yes. Okay, <laughs> so in in your uh, future plan, what kind of employment would you like to have? Uh, I want to like work in an office and like uh, interview with people and talk about their problems. Uh huh. So Stuff kind like of, that. kind of like uh like a a counselor, someone who yes yes like that. Okay. And do you have a specific group of people that you want to work with, like adults, kids, uh, teenagers, adults. adults? Okay. All right. And is there any specific focus? Like, I don't know, family problems, work problems, or just life in general? <laughs> uh, it can be anything, but, uh, like, uh, I would like to work with uh, personality problems. Personality? Ooh. What? <laughs> <laughs> that can be very interesting. You mean, like, split personalities, or? Oh, I like that, too, but also... Uh, Personality problems like narcissistic personality problems. Uh huh. Can be. And would that include like depression and stuff like that? 
yeah, that those can be to you know anything. Okay, well, I'm trying to think of a situation in my head. Um, and would you want to work for a private practice or for like a public hospital or something like that? Uh, I would uh, like private. Private, okay. Yeah. All right, so the situation that I'm going to set up is that I am, I'm a psychiatrist, okay? And I work in an office and we're partners. I have a few partners that we work with. It's still private, okay. it's small, but we have an opening. <laughs> someone, someone moved or they live somewhere else, okay? So we have an opening and we're looking for a clinical psychologist, okay? Okay. okay. Are you ready to start? Uh, yes. Yes, yes, okay. <laughs> and uh, I will be, uh, hmm, I will be Mr. I'll be Mr. Jones again, okay? And, okay. and what should I call you? Should I call you uh, Miss, Miss Noor? Is that right? Yeah, that's okay. Are, are you married or single? I'm single. Okay, so I won't say Mrs. I'll say Miss then, okay? All right. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's start. Okay. Hello, Miss Noor. How are you? Hello, thank you, Mr. Johnson. How are you? I'm doing well. Okay, I see that you are here to apply for our position as clinical psychologist. Is that correct? Yes, it's correct. Okay, well, we have very high standards because uh, we deal with people and they're, you know, very serious problems and stuff like that. So could you begin by telling me your experience and background? Um, sure. Um, actually, I don't have any experience, experience by now because... Um, I'm still a student. Uh, I'm about to like uh, finish my thesis. After that, I'm planning to work with you. Uh, I actually um, like mm, in my supervision uh, process. I have seen one uh, uh, patient, and I have uh, like um, we have. Uh, I couldn't say. I mean, uh, we. I have seen one patient until now, and this is all my experience by now. Okay. And I have to ask you to speak a little bit louder so I can hear you. Uh-huh. Okay. And I think I was able to hear, so I'm going to ask you another question. Um, we deal with people a lot, right? And some of the situations are very stressful because people are telling us they're very intimate details, right? Things that are very yes. personal to them. Um, do you have any problem or challenges with confidentiality? Um, no, I hope, I mean, um, I'm very careful about that because uh, there are some et ethical rules that we need to follow and I have, I know them uh, very well and in the in uh, school, we we have learned about them. Okay, and if if you're working with someone, with one of my employees, and you found out that they were sharing personal information outside of the office and doing things that were not professional, what would you do? Oh, it's a good question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, first I would like. Uh, talk about him about this and I would say like uh, don't you know about the ethical rules I mean uh, I would first talk to him about this and uh, it, after that if he still continues uh, to like break 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 the break the rules I would uh, probably tell him that I will need to like uh, tell you about this situation and uh, after that if he still continues I would tell you okay all right and um, all of us in the office we've worked here for over, each of us have worked here for over 20 years and we have a 
a regular group of clients that we meet with, right? And it starts at the beginning, but we have to gain their trust, right? Because they're going to be talking about very serious matters and they're looking for us to give them help and direction. So what do you do when you want to gain someone's trust at the beginning? I wouldn't like ask many questions. Uh, I would only like listen uh, what, whatever he wants to talk with me. Uh, and I would be like uh, patient uh, until he wants to share. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, like uh, the reason they come is to share. So they will eventually like they would want to share, but maybe they can't. So. There are some techniques that I can like uh, apply, and uh, <laughs> I I don't know. I will see. It. I mean, everyone is different, so I will try to find a way. Okay. All right. And if people ask you for personal advice on how to improve their life, um. What do you think about that? Is it your place to give them specific advice or would you give them more general techniques to improve their lives? What do you think? Uh, I mean, if you mean that I like tell them what they do, it's, it doesn't work like that. I don't tell them like you should do like this. Uh, you should like, for example, break up with this guy or, uh, and stuff like that. I, we don't say such things. We just uh, like mm, try. Uh, I mean, we try uh, to to show them what they actually want within themselves. So it's uh, it will be always their choice and their decisions. We'll just be like near them and um, try to show them what they actually want. Okay. All right. And. Um... What kind of benefit package are you looking for? Uh, well, actually, uh, of course, I would uh, like uh, to have a salary, but like I don't expect much because this is my first time, and um, I'm actually uh, looking for an experience. Uh, so um, this is the most important thing I'm looking for right now. So I don't like expect much. I just expect that you have you um, apply uh, ethical uh, standards and um, that I have some salary. Okay. And would you like a a free parking spot? <laughs> it would be nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, um. Are you reliable? Do you come to work on time? And can we trust you? Yes, you can. Okay. And would you be willing to provide re references that we can, or people we can talk to, to, uh, you know, that we can get an idea of who you are? Mm, yes, sure. I can arrange that. Okay. All right. Well, I want to say thank you for coming in. I have other candidates that I need to interview. <laughs> and so, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you what very you much. Nice to meet you, sir. What, what, what do you think? How do you feel about our role play? Uh, no, I was a bit nervous, so um, I don't know, but I, I think it went normal, like as how it is supposed to be. Uh huh. So, uh, I don't know, like, it's, uh, I have only your ideas. Okay. Um, and actually, the thing that I would say is not so much about the English. Um, I've interviewed a lot of people for different situations. And I would urge you, uh, the one question I asked is, uh, can you tell me about your experience and your background, right? And even even if you have, like, zero experience, I would urge you to find some way to have an answer that makes you sound that you do have some experience, right? Yeah, okay. Because the, because one thing is that you're human, right? <laughs> so we we deal with people all the time. If something you know has been dif difficult in your life, but you've been able to do it, so it's like 
we have to paint a picture of ourselves as able, right? Yeah? Yeah. But, okay. you know. Okay, thank you. Okay, do you have... <laughs> Sure. Okay, well, very well done. And thank you for coming live. I appreciate it. And I admire your confidence. Well done. Thank you. See you. Okay, bye-bye. All right. Okay. Great. So do we have flight attendant, uh, dentist, a clinical psychologist. Wonderful. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> In the comment, Peggy DS says, I trust her. I'm her friend from primary school. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's take a look. We have a request from Mohammed Far Farak. All right, we'll give it a try. I don't have a lot of time left, but we can see what we have. Okay. All right, waiting for Mohammed Farak. And we'll try to maybe do one more role play for today, and then I have to be going. Okay. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? How are you? I am wonderful. I'm fine, great. How are you? How about things? Great. Yeah, I'm, do I'm doing great. well. Can you hear me? I can, yes. Okay, uh, can I Thank get your you. name? Where are you from? My name is Muhammad Farf. I'm from Syria, Aleppo. Okay, all right. So today we're going to do a role play, okay? Yeah, ready. Ah, did you, have you been watching already? No, no, I have just already joined you, but I'm ready for it. Okay, so I'll just, just give shoot. You... Just shoot, I'm ready. <laughs> well... <laughs> I, I need I need a little bit of information first. What kind of work do you do? <clears throat> uh oh, the connection. <clears throat> That's, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. I'm following you. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Okay. So, w what kind of work do you do? All right. I don't think the connection is working. No. Ah. Sorry, it's working. What kind of what? Sorry. What kind? What kind of work do you do? What occupation? Profession? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. My profession. I'm an English teacher. I teach English. Yeah, in an in institute. Yeah. Thank you. In Syria. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do a role play, and I'm going to interview you for a teaching position at my international school. Okay. Wow, that's great. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait. Right, and it's all pretend, right? But we can do it. We'll pretend it's real, okay? So yeah. when, when, I put on my, when I put on my glasses, I'm going to be Mr. Johnson, the okay? The boss. Wow. Yeah, yeah. The, direct, <laughs> the, the, the director, okay? And, yeah, yeah. Um, what can I call you, Mr. I'm, I'm, and I'm the poor teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and what was your name again? Muhammad, what okay. I... All right, you I'll can call say you Muhammad Mr. or Hamad, yes. I'll say Mr. Muhammad because it's kind of formal, right? In an interview. Okay? All yeah, right, here, here of we course, go. Of course, of course. All right. Hello, Mr. Muhammad. Thank you for coming in today. I'm Mr. Johnson. And it looks like you are applying for our English teacher position. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Totally correct. Okay. And uh, I'd like to jump right in and get started and talk about your experience. Uh, we are an international school, so we have very high standards for our teachers because uh, the, the students and their parents, you know, they need high quality. So can you tell me what experience do you have teaching? Yes, sir. I have a master's degree in English from Damascus University, and I have been teaching English for about three years in a very good institute in Aleppo. And I also I do some private classes, and I am active on social network, social media, uh, Instagram, YouTube, and so on. Okay. And... What range of students do you teach? Are they kids, adults, or everything in between? Yeah, everything in between, actually, but mainly adults, mainly adults, so university students, mainly university students. Uh-huh. And, and graduates, have... and also graduates. Okay. 
And do you have experience teaching beginning students as well? Yeah, of course, of course. This is my this is my main range because you know for beginners they need someone who who speak their language. I mean Arabic in this case, so I can be able to communicate with them. So I teach sometimes English, English, just English, English. Sometimes I speak English with my mother tongue, which is Arabic. Okay, all right. Yes, and sir. We have a very demanding schedule. We're open from uh, 5 a.m. until 12, or until 11 p.m. at night. Would you be willing? Wow. <laughs> would you be willing to work those hours? Yes, sir. I am up to it. My friends always tell tell me that I am determined person and I have willpower and I can work under pressure. So uh -huh. I am up to it. Uh huh. And are you reliable? Do you have a reliable source of transportation? Uh, actually, I don't have a car, but I can manage. Okay. So if the start time was 5 a.m., what time would you come? Is it 5 o'clock? Maybe 5 minutes before, I, I will do my best to be in time. Okay. And uh, Especially, I am an early bird. So I'm used to getting up early. Okay. And are you willing to use our curriculum or would you expect to use your own material? Well, I am always open to new ideas. So it would be a pleasure for me to have a look at your materials and prepare and plan so something new. And then maybe I can, uh, you know, mix something from my previous experience and materials. So it oh. would be a great opportunity for me. Okay. And are you willing to, uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, what benefit package are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for a good salary. And, you know, uh, teaching is also my passion. So I'm not just looking for money. Of course, money is important. But I'm also expecting to improve my English to be more fluent to, you know, because when you teach, the best way to learn is to teach. So when I'm teaching, especially in your high prestigious school, I'm expecting to get more knowledge, more experience and more benefits. OK, and we have in-house training two times a week and it's from wow, that's great. It's from 3 a.m. in the morning until 4 a.m. in the morning. Wow, sir, you don't want me to sleep. <laughs> Are <Yeah>. you... <laughs> I am married, sir. I have children. I have family to look at. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so I want to say thank you for coming in. I have other candidates you, sir. that I need to yes, interview. Yes, sir. And I say, yes, you're, I'm looking for. You, you look yes, like sir. a very, very promising can candidate, and it looks like you can work with all day long. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, all sir. Right. So, do, do you have yes, any sir. questions? <laughs> do you have any questions? Yes, sir. I have questions. What do you think about my uh, fluency? Uh, I want my, your uh, uh, honest, uh, positive feedback for me. And if you have any ideas, any suggestions, I am up to it. I'm open-minded and I want all, uh, all the time to improve my language, especially that I am in the field of teaching. Thank sure. you very much in advance. Yes, sir. No, no problem. And all I can go off of is your speaking, right? Because I don't know about writing and all that stuff. But as in uh, speaking, yeah, yeah. If, if I have to... I'll try to fit you in on the A, A1 to C2 scale, okay? I would yes, probably, sir. your speaking ability, I would put you probably at a strong, probably a strong B2. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's that, just that's... My, my gut reaction. It's, it's difficult to tell with only, you know, a five-minute <laughs> speaking. Of course, of course. Yeah, but, of course, yes, sir. Uh, there's a few things that I notice. You understand pretty much everything I say. You're able yeah. to give. You're give, able to give appropriate answers, right? Uh, I don't have. I don't have to slow down when I speak to you. 
I can still speak yeah. in my regular, even though I'm joking a little bit, maybe using some slang. Yeah. <laughs> you're still able yeah, to understand. Yeah. <laughs> This is very good. Of course. Um, yeah. You're very confident when you speak. You, you, it, doesn't you. Appear, it doesn't appear that you're translating in your head very much, which actually happens yeah, at, all, at all levels, but beginners do it much more, right? They hesitate because they're making the connection. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I would say, uh, to be honest, your accent sounds, you know, like where you're from, <laughs> the mid Middle Eastern accent, or, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, but from, it's... I was born in Egypt, I, yeah. Okay, and, but it's, I, it's I, very, I was, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was born in Egypt, then I moved to Syria, because my father is Syrian, yes, sir. Uh -huh. Okay, and even though you speak English with an accent, It's very, very easy to communicate with you. Very easy. Yeah. I think that is very good because most of the time the goal is per is effective communication, not perfect accent, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So do you have any suggestion for me to improve, to move forward from B2 to CA or C2? Uh, I, I'm speaking concerning the speaking and fluency in speaking. Sure. The simple answer is... Practice, practice, practice. You have to just do it. You have to talk. You have to get it out there. Um, as best as possible, surround yourself, immerse yourself with English, right? And, yeah, is, yeah. you know, building the vocabulary. You're at the level now where I'm not going to push you to, like, to study grammar rules. It's more like the fluency, learning the slang, yeah. learning the idioms, learning the, the, yeah. the phrasal verbs and using it and putting it to use. And probably uh, maybe even higher level comprehension where they're talking about a specific subject which uses specific terminology that even native speakers yeah. don't always understand because it's very specific to that field. Yeah. 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 So these are Thank some you, ideas. <laughs> Thank you. It is great talking to you, sir. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity and looking forward to be in touch all the time. Great. And I, I say thank you to you and everyone else, too, because uh, working with you guys helps me to become a better teacher because I have to adjust <laughs> to you guys and how you're yeah. speaking and everything. So, okay. Thank you thank for you, coming sir. live and very well done. It's my, it's my honor, sir. Thank you. All thank right. you very much. Thank you. Thank you for Bye -bye. your feedback. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. I think my time is just about coming to an end. So, all right. Okay, I'm just taking a peek through the comments that you guys were watching. Okay, so today we did role play. Let's see, what did we do? We did a flight attendant. We did a dentist. We did a clinical psychologist. And then we did a teacher, uh, English teacher for my prestigious English international school. So we did role play today, and I think you guys did great, right? It's good to practice interview skills because when you want to, you know, go to the next level in your career, you're going to have to interview, right? And you can kind of, you can prepare a lot for interviews before they happen by getting a list of potential questions, use the internet and talk about, you know, what field, what, what does the HR, what do the human resources departments ask for these type of questions, right? So, yeah, I think this, this today was an experiment and we'll probably do more because I think this is very practical information for you guys to do. Okay, all right, so let's do my end tradition as many as I can. And I, I remember last time I forgot to do a language. And I'm going to start with that one. Vietnamese is uh, gamong. Gamong means thank you, I think. Gamong. So let's see. Arabic is shokran. E English is uh, thank you. French is merci beaucoup. German is danke schön. Hindi is danyavad. Shukriya is urdu. Japanese is arigato. Uh, let's see. Uh, Korean is kamsahamnida. Mandarin Chinese is Sheshe. Doce is Cantonese. Oh no, my brain is going to freeze. Uh, Gumsia. Oh, I have 25 seconds. I better hurry. Gumsia is Hokkien Chinese. Uh, Russian is Spasiba. Grazie is Italian. Um, American Sign Language is thank you very much. <laughs> Asante is uh, Swahili. Oh, Teshakur Ererim. 
Super, sehr pass, and I'm gone. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>